Hi guys, back again with me Dharma Domata channel, Dharma Domata daily vlog. Yeah, it could be like that. And as always, today is raining, raining all the time, raining all day long. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's because of uh, rainy, rainy season. I don't know, or maybe it's because of Chinese New Year. Yeah, because it is said that uh, when when it is Chinese New Year, usually the weather is something like rainy yeah it's it's in my opinion it's what i always hear from people okay let's look here we go what my wife has cooked this morning indonesian cuisine cuisine yeah indonesian cuisine actually uh we we don't uh, consume them every day but uh they are, they are one of uh, Indonesian cuisine that we always consume in our daily in our daily life. Okay, here we go. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, okay, guys, I want to share uh, with you some of delicious Indonesian food. Indonesian cuisine is known for its uh, bold flavors and rich spices, and these dishes are no exception. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we have onchom. Onchom, look, onchom. The first dish is called onchom. This is a traditional Indonesian food made from fermented soybeans. It is a versatile ingredient that can be used in a variety of dishes and it has a unique nutty and savory flavor. And it's often used as a topping for rice or as a filling for cakes. And onchom is a staple in Indonesian cuisine, and it's a perfect sample, and uh, of how the local yeah, it's a perfect sample of how the local uh, locals uses fermentation to preserve food and give them a unique taste. Okay, and then we have kangkung. Look, yeah, you can see kangkung, tumis kangkung. Then uh, tumis kangkung it's a simple yet delicious dish made of Kangkung or water spinach sauteed with a garlic, yeah, it, it's sauteed uh, with garlic, chili, and tomato. And it's healthy, low carb dish that's perfect for those looking for a light meal. It's often served as a side dish, but it can also be enjoyed as a main dish with rice. And the key to a great tumis kangkung is in the seasoning and the freshness of. Kangkung, which gives it a nice crunchy texture. Okay, and then next we have telur dadar. Yeah, we have telur dadar, uh, which is a type of Indonesian omelet. Yeah, it is made with beaten eggs and a variety of vegetables such as onions, chives, and sometimes uh, bean sprouts. It's often seasoned with salt and pepper to taste. Telur dadar also is a simple and easy dish to make and it's perfect for breakfast or uh, or as a snack and it's a great way to add uh, some protein to your meal and it's also a good choice for vegetarians. And next we have some... what is it? Oh, yeah. Okay, and then next we have sambal terasi. The last dish I want to talk about is sambal terasi. This is a type of sambal or chili paste. Uh, and <laughs> that is a commonly, yeah, this, this sambal uh, commonly used in Indonesian cuisine. It made, um, it's made with a blend of chili peppers, shrimp paste, shrimp, uh, uh, I mean, shrimp paste. Um, and other spices, other spicy things. Uh, it's a perfect condiment to add a spicy kick to your dish and it's often used as a dipping sauce or a marinade. And sambal terasi is a must have condiment in an Indonesian kitchen. It's a great way, it's a great way to add, um, it's a great way to add some heat and depth to your food. Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about these delicious Indonesian dishes. If you ever have uh, the chance to visit Indonesia, be sure to try these out for yourself. Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. See you again.